Yunchi! Congratulations, you are the winner of the last video's giveaway. This was last video's giveaway right here, courtesy of this guy. By the way, I don't think you guys realize how much stuff this man, Brian, gave me to give away. Uh, use code uh, BREW at checkout to receive $5 off your order of $50 or more, plus a free pack at pokeyne.com. So you and she, uh, go ahead and hit me up on Instagram, claim this stuff. Here's another giveaway, guys. So guess what? Another Brian display box to give away. We got Zorora, Zorora this time, and guess what? It's almost Halloween, so why not give away another Impel Trading Card Treats? This time it's Spider Man and two others. And yeah, I love this Gloom AR, so we're gonna give away another one of those. And our first ever celebrations, Derpy Q. Hint, hint towards what maybe a future giveaway might entail. So if you want to win all of this, partially uh, because of Brian right here, and then the rest, uh, you know, yours truly, I had to get in on the action. If you want to win all this, just go ahead and be subscribed, leave a comment. Poke positivity. What's going on, brews? And buckle up, buttercup. Do you like the Scarlet and Violet era? Then boy, do I have one hell of a week for you. Guys, seriously, this is so packed. We literally just need to get into it. There are there are so many Scarlet and Violet Era cards on this list that we are going to speed run, and I have footnotes, okay? First of all, here's some footnotes. The 151 starters are going ham. There is a card that has sold over 1,500 times in the last month, and it's only been out one week. Um, what the heck? Pokemon Center promos are popping off. Uh, just look today's this week's best deal banger is literally my favorite card from the entire scarlet and violet era so i'm not gonna lie i take offense to that i'm actually very angry of uh which card is this week's hottest cards but again we have so much to cover in the scarlet and violet era moving this week that we we gotta go we're getting into it right now let's get in to last week's hottest cards all right, Armin Mewtwo, uh, can we please just pay a little respect to this guy? I mean, Jesus Christ, we're talking almost three months in a row. Look at this freaking chart. This car just keeps doing what it needs to to just stay on top of this board. Literally, just inch by inch, just going up all the way, marching all the way up to 100. Armin Mewtwo, chill the hell out. Eevee Unagaba, for the first time in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine weeks over two months it's finally showing a little little uh a little weakness greninja ex sir the the crown jewel from scarlet and violet era guess what it heard me talking shit it was like i ain't going down to 220 you're crazy and now uh greninja sir is back up to 281 all right so bubble mew bubble mew guys look it says 94 dollars and 93 cents as its all-time high a few days ago, it actually hit $96, which is its now all-time high. Just as of Friday, as of right now, it is back down just a little to $94.93. But Bubble Mew from Paldean Fates is still going so strong. And speaking of strong-going Mew cards, uh, look at this. The uh, Legendary Treasures Radiant Collection Mew is now up to $68.10, starting at $51 about a month and a half ago is when it first appeared on our list. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, six weeks ago, a month and a half ago, and it's done nothing but go up and up and up and up. Uh, Charmander, okay guys, these Kanto 151 starters, we're gonna take a closer look at these guys because one, we have Charmander that's been on this list for over a month now. We have Squirtle down there, you can see in between Drowsy and Houndoom. And we got the other one coming up on this week's Hottest Cards. So we're going to look at all three of the Scarlet and Violet 151 Kanto starters because they are all popping off. Nine Tails, get the hell out of here. I love you, but, you know, you struggled. You hit 15, and then you went sideways, went down to 12, 14, 13. We're done with Nine Tails. I'm sorry. Bye-bye, Nine Tails. Uh, Blastoise CX 122 promo, the XY. Um, yeah, beautiful card, but see you later. Uh, Giovanni's Riz, the Giovanni's Charisma from S uh, the SIR from 151 is up to 12.44. So it's actually highest. It's been on here now on a, coming up on a month, and it's now, you know, it's it's the highest it's been. So we'll see where, what happens with Giovanni. Pikachu and Zekrom uh, sideways. Beautiful, beautiful uh, Sun and Moon promo. 
Pikachu V Trainer Gallery from Lost Origin. Get out of here, dude. Okay, no one cares about Sword and Shield anymore. Nobody cares about Trainer Galleries anymore. It's over. Bye bye. Ralt, see you later. Drowsy, I love you so much, but see you later. Squirtle. Squirtle Squad. Squirtle Bang. So, Squirtle, again, $32.30. We are going to take a look at Squirtle's chart in just a minute. Hound Doom. This is probably the coolest card from Shrouded Fable. Down just a little, $22.55. It, it's probably going to be back. I have a feeling Hound Doom is not done. All right. Uh, Umbreon. Uh, the, 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 the poor man's Moonbreon. The uh, Sword and Shield promo. That is now up to $8.67. Best price banger from last week was Altaria EX SIR from Paradox Rift. And with that, let's get into this week's hottest cards. All right, let's get right into the Kanto starters, everybody's favorite, okay? Uh, look at this. So Bulbasaur, $28.59 with an average daily sold of 9 and 268 sold on the one month. Here's the one month chart for you. Let's zoom all the way out to the one year. So on the one year, you can see this is essentially... This is basically an all-time high, okay, guys? Bulbasaur is knocking on the $30 door right now, all right? And again, speed run. Let's just move on. Bulbasaur doing amazing. Squirtle. Squirtle. Look at that. $33.22. Do I even have to tell you that Squirtle is doing amazing? Look at this. Average daily sold only 12. Total. Oh, that's the one-year snapshot. Holy moly. Okay, here we go. There it is. Average daily sold 8. Total sold 259 on the one month. Squirtle is flying freaking high. Part of that's the turtle power going on with Stella Crown, of course. Just Squirtle is just having a nice little Squirtle Squad resurgence. Okay, let's hurry up because now I want to check out Charmander, who's been on my list for over a month. So Charmander, 3329. Zoom out. You can clearly see higher lows going up here. You see 12. Oh my gosh. On the one month snapshot, you see eight average daily sold. You see 250 on the one month. And Charmander's high is $37 just last week. But overall, Charmander, Bulbasaur, and Squirtle, all three of them are highly, highly, highly trending upwards to say the least. Charmander's just uh, cooling off a little bit. But Squirtle's literally right there at $32 and climbing. Okay, over 30 is the point. That is a nice benchmark for Squirtle to, uh, you know, rest above. And then guess what? Squirtle evolve. Evolve twice into Blastoise. So check this out. Blastoise is at $54.82. And guys, let's look at the one month real quick. Average daily sold is 7 230 sold on the month. That's a lot for a $50 card. Just just trust me, especially one that's not like TCG playability related. Blastoise is doing great. Blastoise, honestly, here, let's look at the one year. So its all-time high is 56, and right now it's at 54. And just been straight up trend since June. Alright? And guess what else? Venusaur! Venusaur, look at this. Look at this. Venusaur is also flying high. So Venusaur actually on the one week is doing very, very good. Venusaur is above $50. Let's go back to the one year again. So this is a one year high, an all time high right here for Venusaur. So guys, we all, we all know that 151 is just the easiest investment ever. Okay, everyone, like I got a lot of crap for not making it. I, I put Paldea. And I put Twilight Masquerade as S tier just to get a reaction out of the Kanto boys. I put 151 at A tier on my tier list. And yeah, I definitely, I heard it. <laughs> I heard it. But in all honesty, like the cards, the values, they back it up. And look at this. Even the double rare Mew, this guy, this guy's up big. So uh, Mew EX, the double rare, is $6.27. That's a 57% increase on the one month. On June 22nd, this card was three dollars and fifty cents okay holy moly look at that one year sold thirteen thousand four hundred but yeah this is a nice nice long beautiful little bowl action right here with big time uptrend on the one week up huge okay and 763 sold on the one month snapshot okay 
that, huh, that's a double rare. That That's just a double rare. All right. Prime Catcher. So everyone's favorite A spec. I just threw this up here because, you know, just, just what? On September 10th, it was $22, and today it's $26.72. On the one month, it's only up five bucks. But guys, on the one month, it also has 823 sold. And I just think, just look at that. Like, Prime Catcher held at 24 or like 20 bucks for a while. And now it's up trending again. Prime Catcher is just, no matter how many A specs come out, Prime Catcher is the best. And that just seems to be the way it was. And that's the way it's going to be. Because Prime Catcher is going up in value. Okay? So, Prime Catcher, doing good. We're going to definitely keep an eye on Prime Catcher. Now, this card, guys, pretend, do me a favor, real quick, just pretend that this card was on last week's, this week's hottest cards, because the way I do it is, um, so I, when I'm doing my research, when I'm updating all the prices, I do everything on paper first, and then I transcribe it all into, like, you know, Word document or, or like, PowerPoint, and then, you know, make the video out of it. So all I'm saying is, last week, this card was on last week's hottest cards. I just totally screwed up, and I totally skipped over it when I was transcribing everything over to PowerPoint. So yeah, so just pretend this card was already on the list. But Petrant, the amount of shredded fumble hyper rares that are just doing so well, it's, ugh. Like, I think, like, okay, so hold on real quick. So if you look at the one month, this was $14 is now $24, okay? 121 sold, and just, again, shredded fumble. The hyper rares are just doing really good. Let's, let's, let's look at another one, shredded fumble hyper rare. Power glass. Power glass, just a few days ago, was $14. Now it's $16. I know it doesn't look like a lot, but again, it's just showing strength. Three, what, I mean, it, the set's been out for what, like, a month and a half, two months. I know it was very short break in between Stellar Crown and Shrouded Fable, but yeah, I mean, this card's going up. I, you know, I would, I'm just saying, Power Glass, and then look at this. I this card was on the list two weeks ago. I knocked it off because it went back down to 60, but now it's back up again. It's just a wooden bowl. It's just a wooden bowl. I know it's Earthen Vessel. It's extremely playable. Even the Reverse Hollow is like five bucks now. But earthen, uh, just I'm just saying another shredded fumble, hyper rare. Okay, all three of these are doing fantastic. All right, so guys, the the card that I said sold over 1,500 copies, like essentially just in the last two weeks. Bang bang bang, Tropicos EX a double rare, double rare from Stella Crown. So look at this, oh, 18, 1,800 copies. I'm sorry, I meant to say 1,800 copies in the last month. And this card's literally been out a week. Yeah, I know you could pre-sale, you could pre-buy it. I know. I'm just saying, 1,800? That right there is the biggest number I have ever seen right here. Okay? And it's a turtle, and it's a very colorful turtle. Why wouldn't you want this card? I pulled two of them. I'm actually considering grading this card. It's just such a gorgeous double rare that I was like, you know what? It's perfectly centered. I already got one for the master set. I, a part of me just wants to grade it just to freaking grade it because it's a shiny yeah, it's a rainbow turtle who doesn't like rainbow turtles all right rainbow turtles are doing amazing amazing squirtles doing amazing it doesn't even have a rainbow anyway so anyway okay sorry so this card's on the list because uh it dropped down to ten dollars and then now it's up to almost fourteen dollars so it's actually up like 30 something percent on the week even though it doesn't really look like it in this chart and yeah if you go into the sales Let's go into the sales, I think. Uh, yes, yeah, the sales, the sales. View more data, there it is. So I've seen this a lot over uh, $14 and $15. I already looked through this, and there's a lot of higher sales, like $16, $17. You know, a lot of 11 12 But yeah, six, 1800 sold, okay? Go Rainbow Turtle, Terrapagos, like Galapagos. Okay, guys, now let's get into the stamped Pokemon Center promos because i've heard a lot of people say these are like the first editions of the scarlet and violet era i disagree i think first editions were mass printed for a month straight and put in stores everywhere back when the wizards of the coast days i'd say these are more exclusive than first edition cards but look at this so charmander from obsidian flames 
has jumped up from $44, $43, well, $44 on September 15th. And here we are just a couple days later. It's $52 freaking dollars. A lot sold too, $45. So obviously a lot of people are getting this because they want it to go with the other two, the Squirtle and the Bulbasaur that just came out. Except this is a stamped one. You could just go get the regular like two, $5 one. You know, you don't have to drop $52 on the stamped one. It's probably a good idea though. Because yeah, people are comparing these cards to first edition cards. That's probably a good thing. And then guess what? Here's another one. Oh my boy. My boy. So Mimikyu has also gone up quite considerably just in the last little bit of time here. So it was a six to eight dollar card just a few days ago. And now it's a fourteen dollar card. Okay. The stamps matter quite a bit, don't they? Yes, they do. And that's why I'm, that's lately in the last a couple videos I have talked about Pokemon Center ETBs and like opening how even opening them is actually a good idea everyone's gonna say no i'll keep it sealed it's all da, 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 da. which yes that is an amazing idea is to buy these and keep them sealed but even if you open them the promo you grade the promo or just sell the promo if it's wrecked i'm just saying these stamp promos are exclusivity at its finest and in this day and age it's hard to get real exclusivity you know what i'm saying all right Oh, and then, okay, so we're going to finish off real quick with uh, these two guys. So both Teal Mask Ogre Ponds, you know, this is definitely TCG related. Teal Mask Ogre Pond, look at this, $11.90. There it is, it's going up. The other one, um, and look at this, oh. Whoa. $72.15. Whoa. What's the one month? Two thousand two. Ha, ah. bro! This is the most playable card ever. No wonder it's going up. And oh my god! Oh my god! Twenty. Tw oh, twelve thousand. Yo, teal mask ogre. Okay. Twilight Masquerade did not come out that long ago, guys. Oh my gosh. I am sorry. I just did not see that earlier. Okay, what I said about Rainbow Turtle, never mind. Whoa, dude. Okay, <laughs> Teal Mask over Pine. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, invest in Ogre Pond. <laughs> Holy moly. Oh, man. That literally took my breath away. That is just so many copies. <laughs> All right. Let's get into uh, this week's uh, best deal banger, which is my favorite card of this whole era. Okay. So look at this real quick. Groudon. The, this card, guys, look. This is the card. If you follow my channel a few months ago, I was the dude screaming at you saying, Buy this card now for 30, risk it going down to 25, or don't buy it and watch it go up to 40, 50, 60. We all know what happened, and it's held value well. Okay, I love Groudon. I love this card. But for this card to be worth more than this card? <gasps> I am sorry. Roaring Moon EX SIR. This card. It, it, the fact that okay uh, th th this is today's best deal banger last week was uh altar uh, altaria and we're st we're staying in paradox rift because this card being under 50 dollars is a crime it's a crime i'm sorry i just can't handle it look guys this card it's never been under 50 dollars before so if you've wanted this card and you've, you're considering buying this card, now would be a good time to keep an eye on it and decide if you want to pull the trigger on this card. Because if you buy this card near mint for under $50, you're like the first person ever, essentially. And I'm jealous. And yeah, Roaring Moon with the Scream Tails and everybody else. That is absolutely my best deal banger. All right, and uh, yeah, so that's it. Um, let's go back to me. All right, so guys. Um, basically um again every 10 a.m friday pacific coast time i'm doing this video it's my favorite thing ever i love doing this series um yeah and this one was just an extra fun one because i love the scarlet and violet era and yeah so uh 
like comment subscribe and leave a comment if you want to be entered into today's giveaway and i'll let uh Sh shia okay so like comment subscribe all right shia take it away do it just do it don't let your dreams be dreams yesterday you said tomorrow so just do it make your dreams come true just do it